I V M. Welcome to Pyar Actually podcast, an anthology of stories that will make you smile, cry, tug your heart, and show you how love manifests itself through moments like no other. Stories of people whose relationships have been through the test of time and shown like a natural diamond. I'm your host Akshay Obroy aur main Natural Diamond Council ke sath la raha hu kuch aisi kahaniyan that have touched my heart and have given me hope and reasons to smile These stories help me realize that a collection of treasured moments is what makes a relationship undeniably special Do long distance relationships work in today's instant gratification world Well let's find out if this couple can make a union work despite physical separation. Hamari aaj ki kahani Locked Out of Love is of someone I know whose college love took an unexpected turn and made them realize the importance of living in the moment. Rohan and Saloni met in their first year in Delhi University. They slipped into dating the way new friendships begin. without any great declarations but with an unbreakable resolve they found themselves going to malls together strolling in the quaint by lanes of amrita shergil mall discovering new bookstores and khan market everything was perfect because they were always next to each other what's going to happen when college ends saloni asked one day her diamond like eyes glaring through rohan's rohan kissed her forehead and inquired why so worried jan just that we're so young and we probably may not go in the same direction her eyes lost a bit of her sparkle just imagining this i am going in your direction said rohan and just like that amidst laughter the shine in her eyes returned but when they graduated fate had different plans for them Rohan moved to Bangalore to work for a lifestyle magazine while Saloni shifted back to her home city Mumbai to work as a journalist After a bit of crying and fighting they decided that they would give long distance a shot After all being in two states within the same country meant they weren't too far apart or were they So they took their leaves and planned their weekends and made sure they met very often Rohan loved their peaceful marine drive walks and Saloni was obsessed with Rohan's new house in Indranagar. They tried out new cuisines and treated each other to new movies at their place. And then one day they found themselves in a strange place. Everything was suddenly shut down. The country went into an indefinite lockdown. Rohan Saloni whispered in the phone. I heard I'm worried she said suddenly don't be it'll get over soon and and I'll be seeing your annoying face in no time but it didn't get over Rohan found himself surviving a pandemic alone as Saloni moved back home with her parents and as weeks turned into months they found themselves in a kind of long distance relationship none of them were prepared for unsurprisingly They struggled. They tried to talk to each other every other day, and on days they didn't, they thought about each other a whole lot. Rohan was working harder than ever in the lockdown, with Saloni finding her lack of privacy at home making her a bit irritable. Of course, Saloni was grateful to be home, safe with her parents, but Rohan was worried sick about his own mom and dad, who were by themselves. It took them some time to find their feet and make sense of the world. But when they did, things took a turn for the better. I think we should do date nights, hai na? He asked. Just like if we were in the same city. I mean, the world is crazy right now and in the middle of all of it, I want us to be I want us to be okay. I want us to be good, Sal. You make me happy and uh, I don't want to get I don't want to let go of that. What do you think? 
As Saloni watched Rohan's enthusiastic face talk about date nights he had planned, she felt a surge of emotion for him. He really wanted this. He wanted her. Together they created special moments that would stay with them forever. The day the lockdown was extended for the fourth time, Rohan got a call from Saloni. She sounded grave and asked him to get on Skype when he was free. Rohan Skyped her back immediately, a billion possibilities zooming through his head. Could she have lost her job? Was she not feeling well? Was she in trouble? Huh, huh, tell me, uh, what is it? Rohan asked, quite anxious. Saloni, sitting across the screen, nervously adjusted her glasses. Suddenly, Rohan was reminded the first time he ever saw her. At their college freshers, She'd been standing in a corner nervously when a drunken group of friends passed her by, knocking her sideways. Caught off guard, she staggered backwards. Before she managed to right herself, as she straightened up, awkwardly adjusting her glasses on her nose, he caught her eye. She gulped. A small town boy himself. He understood her embarrassment. He placed a hand on his chest and he mouthed, Breathe. as he made his way to her, through the crowd. All that seemed ages ago, after this crazy lockdown had begun. Now there were no glasses, but classy contacts. She tamed her frizzy hair into delicate curls, taking advantage of the sun for her natural glow. He was in love with her, now more than ever. Saloni, I'm, I'm really worried. Just... just Tell me what happened, Rohan said. As Saloni pursed her lips, that's when Rohan realized he wanted to be there for her, with her, all the time. He wanted her around, he wanted her safe, and he wanted her happy. Rohan, Sono, close your eyes, please. Saloni, just tell me kya hua hai. Please, Rohan, close your eyes. Rohan was confused, but he agreed. He closed his eyes for 10 seconds when Saloni said, open them. When he did, she was holding up a beautiful, natural diamond ring. It looked so pristine and rare, like it belonged to another time. I know you're supposed to ask first, Jan, but I've gone a little crazy not being next to you. Ron continued staring at the diamond ring his mouth wide open. Look, this current pandemic has made me realize how unpredictable life can get, Saloni said. And how little control we have over it. I mean, it's, it's just one giant roller coaster. You've made so many moments precious for me just by being a part of them. You're the one I want to be sitting next to holding hands with on this ride. Ideally, I'd wanted to ask you face to face, but life's too short and I, I can't wait for anything. I miss you and I, I want to never have to miss you like this for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and this? This is how you're showing me that you miss me? He asked incredulously. Wait, you're not being impulsive because of this whole lockdown situation, are you? <laughs> she burst out laughing. Excuse me? <laughs> Here I am telling you I miss you. I love you. I want to be together forever. And that's all you have to pick up from it? Listen, I, I want to spend my whole life with you. All our friends to see it, our parents to see it. Which is why Papa handed me his father's ring when I told him about my plan. My grandfather was one in a million, Rohan. A self-made man who never let life get in the way of what he wanted. Not just for himself, but also for his family. On his 50th birthday, my grandmother had made this ring for him. It was a symbol of her love for him and for all he had done for her and their children. He was her rock, just like you are mine. This ring is old, but it means a lot to me and my family. And I want you to have it. This feels right, Rohan. I've always known you're the one for me. I need to know now. 
Am I the one for you? At a loss for words, Rohan gave a barely perceptible nod. Struggling to hold back his emotions, Saloni's face broke into a grin as Rohan's eyes start to well up. He experienced a moment like no other. Saloni watched him process what had just happened, placed a hand on her chest and mouthed, Breathe. He listened to her, took a deep breath and then said, Listen, do you want to get married over Skype or something? I mean, I've seen people do it. Saloni rolled her eyes. Hold it there, buddy. One step at a time. He chuckled. <laughs> You're right. How about this? Let's look online for a diamond ring that's perfect for you. Now, that's a good step to take. I love you. I love you too. You know, when it's a question of true love, Little things like distance and time and logistics don't mean much. Yes, they make the going tough, but they also make every moment together a moment like no other. If you've been moved by this story, then there's something you should do right away. Share this story with someone you love and tell them how much they mean to you. And don't let little things like lockdowns, get in the way of your love. Tell us that moment when you realized you couldn't live without that person. Until then, this is Akshay Oberoi, signing off. We'll be back with another episode of PR Actually next week. For more inspiration, insight and information on Natural Diamonds, log on to www.naturaldiamonds.com. Catch the new episodes of PR Actually podcast on the IVM Podcasts app, website, or wherever else you get your podcasts from. <laughs>